I've got some scallops and I've got some cauliflower, so I'm going to do some curried scallops with some cauliflower. When it does this cauliflower is all just getting roasted, so it doesn't need to be in florets. I'm going to roast it up, give it a little bit more of a nutty flavour, but with a pinch of the curry flavour that's going in the scallop butter, which we're going to make. A little bit of olive oil, just to help things stick, and then a bit of salt. Bit of black pepper. Good pinch of curry powder. Good pinch of cayenne. Oh, These are going in the oven, right, for a little, little roasting. I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So first thing I'm gonna toast off my spices because Using freshly ground spices rather than just ones in little pots makes you feel a lot better about what you've made. So I've got some cumin seeds and some coriander seeds here, and then I'm just gonna add some pre-mixed curry powder and uh, a little bit of cayenne for spice. So uh, the pan is nice and hot now, and uh, so is Reese, and we can just get, uh, get these cumin and coriander seeds in there to do a little toast. Once they're nice and toasted and aromatic, we're gonna Pound them up, mix them in with some butter with the curry powder and the cayenne. And then we're going to use that butter to cook the scallops and the scallop row sacks. Pat the scallops dry before you cook them. Should crisp up and caramelise a bit better. I don't actually know. I've never cooked scallops before. So actually, I have cooked scallops before, but I f them up. I stewed them and they weren't very nice. And they're nice and toasty. Going to get them all into our pestle or mortar. I can never tell which one's which. People always remind me and I always forget. Just a pinch of salt in there as well. Give them a bit of a, a bit of a grinding. Right, and then that, we'll just add a slightly toastier element to our nice butter, so that can go in there. Get this curry powder in there. Get the cayenne in there. Mix it with the back of a spoon. There we go. And now, some soft butter. So that's like room temperature. That's probably fine, pretty soft. Mmm, buttery. And we're just gonna mix that in. Okay, so that probably enough and then you can just you know sniff a line of that one if you want to uh, i'm just gonna sweat down a little bit of shallot and garlic with some of that leftover curry powder so that we can blend that in with the cauliflower and some cream to make our nice puree and then we can cook the scallops and then we're done all right peel that off and all this is getting blended so just doesn't have to be particularly finely chopped. There we go. Right, so a bit of olive oil in here. Pinch of salt, always crack of electric black pepper. Very useful to have one of these just my friend Josh got me this, my housemate got me this, because he was sick of me putting this just on the side and splatting shit everywhere. So I've got this now, just there, important to have. Any of this leftover curry powder now, just... There we go. Waste not, wank not. Now it's got a bit of a char on it. Get that in there as well. You see there's little charred bits there, the nice roasted bits. That's gonna give it some, uh, some smoky flavor. Pan music. Right, that water's important though, because actually a little bit of the flavor's gonna stick to the bottom. Make sure to turn your fan up. <laughs> you can use vodka if you're especially hard. And as you can see, the shallots have softened. The garlic's cooked a little bit more. So we can just get this into here. 
I don't know if this makes a difference. I think it does. I once saw a blender uh, where someone was blending something hot explode, and I think it gave him quite bad burns. Uh, so in order to avoid quite bad burns, I'm taking this bit out so it can let some of the steam out, but hopefully it won't um, squirt up at me. Drizzle of water. Let's get something creamy in there now. The purists would say that this isn't double cream because it's not, it's uh, actually some cream substitute. But as I often tell the purists when they comment on my videos, when I say this is cream, f off, no one cares. So right, that's going in. Let's give that a little mix about. So we're getting, at the minute it's kind of like a hummus texture. That's not what we're after. Probably would be nice on its own actually, just as a dip now, but we don't need to stop there. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Right, now I'm gonna get that back in the pan to keep warm whilst we cook the scallops. So, just get it in, in there, keep it warm. Scallops. I've done my online research. Which way this is gonna go? Oh. It's not gonna to touch them for like a minute because I think that's what you're meant to do. I guess we should be able to see the caramelization on the bottom, which should kind of tell you when it's when it's time to flip them. No, I can't can't spin that one. No! Why did I move you? Okay, they've had two minutes, they're getting flipped. Oh yeah, that's all right. Take that. Take that. Ah, that one's Do you know what? F it. And then, look, fun part. <laughs> Let's let that caramelise a little bit. But actually, I'll just get that in. All right, nice. There you go. Ah. They're actually pretty good, these, but just give them a little. They don't need very long, probably. I don't know, I've never cooked them before. Just a bit of coriander for freshness to top it. First things first, good old dollop of the cauliflower puree. Got these little fellas in. Let's get these row sacks in because you shouldn't waste them. And now, the obvious curry butter, brown curry butter, I should say. Just a good little sprinkle of coriander. Let's get stuck in. See what that's like. That's sick. That's actually so good. 